Hello. The game is called The Coffin of Andy and Lay Lay. I think it's like. Okay, internet controls are not working. The coffin. Well, I do. Just go over and. Uh... What? I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'll help me with anything. Well, we'll get in trouble. What happened? Did he make a vampire? Good morning, Ashley. Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little something I did not read. Find nutrients to not die. Ready, set, go. Okay. So I need to find shit. Oh my god, it's white nice high throwing. Okay. Okay, that's a freezer? What's up, brother? Can I eat you? Okay, he's sleeping, you can't eat him. <laughs> okay. They did answer my question though. In trash lies hopes and dreams exactly where they belong. There's an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Lele and uh, very, very quiet. It says... In all capital, okay. Uh, sorry, it's Andy and Lele and the very, very... Uh, okay. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. Dirty laundry, okay, I... I'm yet to find something to eat. It's some dirt. Dirt. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. Inside the cabinet is... A thing. You are used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Oh, there's a door there? Books? Can I eat books? Whatever, obviously. <laughs> Your parents have fucked from this bed. <laughs> okay. Maybe outside. The front door won't budge. We have been locked for months now. Can I eat the rash? <laughs> maybe I can... Oh, maybe I can go here. No? Oh, there's something. It's a washing machine. Can I... Drive. Maybe the water here is different, you know? No? Huh? No? Second one, second one, second one. Detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. <laughs> it's a cleaning closet. Inside are various supplies such as trash bag, a mop. Okay. Balcony door is locked. Maybe I can call someone. Okay, you have also tried to order food a bazillion times, but what are you doing? The orders never arrive. Who do I eat? <laughs> the question still stands, you know? Can I not wake him up? Okay, so... It says find something to eat. It's so hard to figure out, like... This is where you and your own pile your trash has already been salvaged several times and is truly utterly exhausted. Can of tomatoes? Can of tomatoes. <laughs> Amazing, you should show that to your brother. Okay. Don't you was uh, you show him the tomato can. The da uh, not the reaction you were hoping for. Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> we are not eating that. Huh? That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. It was in the fucking trash, bro. Quit your complaining. You are energetic enough to go rummage through your our trash, so clearly you are not dying yet. Huh. How did you know it wasn't? Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. Ah, don't rile me up. You are making me hungry. Hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Angie, my dear? No. Put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat then. Screw our future selves. Time to go cook some tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Good day, are you still alive in there? Huh? Hello. If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you are dead. 
And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either, the mass. Ha! I'll take that as a yes and still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you go grab something from the store for us? Ah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye! No! Wait. Well. God damn it. Boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. <laughs> There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some garment stuff right there. No salt though. You have used all it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Okay. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I would say it's the best thing I ever ate. He says... No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is that moment that an ominous sound audio assault your ear. Audio. Are you kidding me? The neighbors at it again. Wanna go take a peek? Mm -hmm. But I'll come along if you do. Here's a catch. Got the balcony key. Okay. Lock the balcony key. Hmm. Can't really squat from here. Can I not jump? You are contemplate if you should take a lean of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you ever think about it. even no fun. Guess you'll have to set something across. Maybe this. Okay, we got a blank. Easy. Easy. Yo, <laughs> what? Oh, demons from the hell. Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice. What? God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Um. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? <laughs> Imagine the demons spawned in their house. Ah, the remote is there. Just push the button on the TV. Mech, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, what is you? It is. Get the batteries, bunch of rented movies, freezer is empty, where are the batteries, maybe in his room, oh, oh. got the batteries, I've got the remote right here. Nah, that's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope, I've decided to hold on to them. You might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I am not. I'm taking on the Herculean task of operating the TV muscle. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous development in regards to the tainted water situation. We are happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered has been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended to another two weeks again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's a thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. We decided to do the same. Wait, mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom, not booze. Just dirty, contaminated water. Nothing. The only thing I have drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyways, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. 
Then I'll stick a needle in you. There we go. And you now. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you are free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you will get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laser and all day doing nothing. I don't know what you have got to complain about. Anyways, I've got to go. Please don't call me anymore. Ever. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Well, nice mom you have there. After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of ruminating upon their misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Pick this up. Pick this up. Pick this up. The trash? Maybe the trash? Hmm, what else can we clean? Yeah, you're cleaning. What a waste of energy. You are a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come on, think of it. Do we even have any digital gent left? Can I talk to him? Cleaning closet. Oh, that's the detergent right there. You're feeling dizzy. Shit. Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Huh? Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from the loved ones that there's been a supply shortage in the quarantine household. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you to not enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullets <laughs> directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clear things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art muse. Okay. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello. Of course, what is it? The shift in tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk though. Well, that's... I mean, can't do anything about that, or I can try talking to her, but... No, I mean, yes, but that doesn't, uh... No, I'm not angry, I'm just, um... No, I'm, uh... Can you let me talk? Voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you, don't, Lashley, and... Is it their mom? Can't anymore, so that's it then. Oh, it's quiet on the both hands. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although, I really don't see why I should be the one I held accountable for. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, is she dumb to you? Why is that? Why do you think? Why should I know? Maybe because you are a parasite infested homebody that's apparently perma quarantined? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. 
And maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you have been out for who knows how long. You figure out you should check on your brother. He was in balcony, no? What's up, man? Someone for your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Tell me surprised. They actually got the person some help. I figured they would just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they would have their sirens blaring for a corpse. And what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you're... When you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they would bring me food if I got... Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well... We do have that one charming fellow next door. Over my dead body! He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows. He might just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyways. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. Like to go after Andrew and tell him in the ain't none of his damn business, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours, you are finally fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Okay. Nice energy there. <laughs> oh yeah, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment, huh? Where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Yo, shut the fu- He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on the perspective. On your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bar bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang bang banging on the door. Or next it will be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get the delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. So I guess we'll see. And you see you did. The absolute... There were absolutely nothing was delivered. I'm pretty sure they are delivering shit, but the warden is keeping everything for himself, you know? Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. Been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You think something would be happening by or as to us by now, but I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. Oh, I don't care. Nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I'm gonna jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you didn't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush. Never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they would have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well we have been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again, I wish it just... Huh? 
feel like you should check up on that. My lord, you have come. And you are in a, a little smaller than I imagine. I love it. It's better than I imagine. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, um, I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. <laughs> huh? Darkness cloud your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay a lifeless body of the cultist. Huh? Oh? So, uh, am I already delirious or did you see that too? Do we, um, do you want to check up on him? Well, at very least I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you are concerned about. I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we are going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has we can eat. Ooh, a battle time. Shut up. Let's get in there. Don't know. Can't see you from the other side of the glass. Oh, we can smash it with an ash tree. Let's go. It's a lot of me, do you you think to yourself? What? Out loud apparently. <laughs> Though I mean, is it still illegal if we kill didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. You want to eat him? Isn't that what you were insinuate insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation, but we can. If we do it him then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think we just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should just look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? And before that, you are going to tell them a demon killed him, really? That will fly? Listen, you are overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? I'm expecting an answer. Well, um, yeah. Alright then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Well, I see a cleaver right there. Let turn this shit off. It's pissing me off. So, uh, you get the arms, I'll get the legs. First chop off the cultist. Left arm. Right arm. We can't carry him out in open like this. Just be quick about it. Can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. Counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Need to conceal this before taking. So, that's enough plastic now. Ooh. Just saying they kill him before even seeing if the guy um <laughs> like had something in his stay and watch. Are you being a little bitch boy? Just let me watch already. Okay then. Oh my god. <laughs> this girl is crazy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Better hurry up, son. It's just meat. It's just some meat. Okay. Are you drooling? I'm hungry, alright. <laughs> You're gross. Go get those plastic bags already. Leave it to me. I think the plastic bags are in our apartment and not in this apartment. These plastic bags will do. Oh, the trash bags were in the this, right? Okay. So we are gonna have a hand piece and a leg piece.
plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole body torso crap i don't think we can cut through the spine either just fold him over i don't think that's going to work watch and learn uh you see if anyone happens to be looking out their window it will be a disaster maybe if i use two bags listen this isn't going to Yada! Aha! Good God, no, don't make me laugh at this. <laughs> I don't have the power to make you do anything, Henry. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso head in the freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite something. Okay. Now, which do you want to <laughs> I see the left arm, fuck it. You fry some meat, then it's ready. Right, so uh, what are we having here? Pure deliciousness, deliciousness is what? Eat up, you first. Munch munch, <laughs> what? You are, okay. Eat Andrew, you will not waste this, alright. And it takes about a bite out of your room. He didn't like it. So he begins stretching. No, you don't. Swallow all of it. Oop. Well, well, how is it? It's um deadly. <laughs> God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. And you're not leaving the table before you have licked the plane. Clean, quit your nagging woman, and quit your ragging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right. Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud of you. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know, maybe coriander. All right, I'll try that tomorrow. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Grass, no. Ha <laughs> ha. I should teach her a lesson. You are my brother, mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you are a girl too? What's that supposed to mean? Haha. <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind, or as a person for that matter. Screw you, I'm the most person-esque lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse, lock her in one of the crates, and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. She is sleep. Mom gave me some money to buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's have her sitting there all night. That will show her. Let's not. We should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. I don't want to. Just go over. Ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse. We'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. She can be my friend again afterwards, she just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Ah, do it Andy, I guess. Hooray, you're the best. Today's episode is titled, Andy and Lily and the Bitch in a Box. One day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above you. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really thought I ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Finally! Huh. What are you doing here? Surprise! I wanna hang out too. Huh? 
I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she'd let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I went out to study with Julia. Why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap, don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Need to find a way in. What? Why did they nail this metal sheet on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh. Even though it is flimsy. Yes. I like my smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Honestly, who the fuck asked? Remember? Use the back of him and pull out nails. <coughs> wow, it sure is <coughs> kinda dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Uh, you're such a kid. Uh, Andy wants to play too. You do? Uh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll be, uh, it. You're gonna... I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred. Count to hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. Alright, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course, she said no one knows she's still here. This is perfect. Lele, promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it though. Well, we actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't. Place a stick on something between the rings that will keep it closed. Won't the sticks just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'll have the leverage to... Ready or not, here I come. Oh crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Ah, let's hide, hide. Where the heck do we hide? Here? This is a good hiding spot. Or maybe inside the box only we hide. Here, maybe we hide here. We hide here. Where do we get the stick anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden derbies is at its feet. I guess this will do. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick. No, what do you think, dumbass? Oh, she's fine, I guess. She has a brother complex. Found you, both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? It was my first spot, then you are it. No way, Andy stole my spot, so she is it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Hey, yeah, my days, my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look, um, okay? Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? Gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if 100. Oh, shoot. He's coming. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, okay. Basically, your friend hops in inside the crate. Um. Huh? What was that? <laughs> I got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. This isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy. You slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. I can't breathe. Is she alright? Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one ever died from dust. Come on, just let her out. What, you'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine. You let her out then. Who cares about me anyways? Everyone likes her better, but you like her too. But everybody does, I already know. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Come on, I told you already I don't want to. I'm a... I bet you hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, yeah, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everybody like her better? I'm loud, weird, annoying, and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lily. 
prove it later. Uh, I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't so. Not even my own brother breaks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say? Talk sure, talk sure is cheap. God damn it. There. Are you happy now? <laughs> just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you are the best. I like you the best, Sandy. She's gonna die. You hear that? You get to stay here until morning. No, please. Let me out, please. Ashley, wait, don't. Ashley, please. Ashley. Ashley? Are you awake? I'm now. Okay, what is it? I think it's just... Why the fuck did we do? We're still on about dinner. Fine, just start then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Um, yes. He summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Well, yeah, we wouldn't have to have to admit that we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. And what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I, uh, whoosh whoosh, there goes your magic wand. There, I have absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's water company's fault. First, they lock us in for months and then they won't even feed us. And is the cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can feed insanity. I don't know. Ashley. Ah. <sighs> There, there, there. You know, I, uh, I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't get it. His spine was too, uh, I kinda just, uh, just kept cutting around, then pull it off, like some, uh, plant, I don't know. I kept thinking about it, so I, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's, uh, come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know, I compartmentalize. Kinda like we compartment <laughs> compartmentalized that guy into a different freezers. Ashley <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Andy. Ah I told you to stop calling me that. We are not kids anymore. Then why are you calling, crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Whoa, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whole mouth. Make me, you little bitch. Ah, oh, forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lily quest for something or another, remember? Why are we bringing this up? Isn't this some... Just another one of those. I don't know. Can't you just play along for now until we are out of this crappy situation? Then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will. But you can go to therapy. Like I could let, tell a therapist what I have been up to. Alright, just thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we have got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no. I don't. They'll just throw us in jail right after. I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in a prison. But and uh, so you want to escape not only this quarantine but the consequences of our actions as well? Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lily and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. The pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you are feeling mighty better today. Where is Andy though?
Andy is probably in balcony, you know? No, it's not. In bathroom, maybe? Andy. The heck is Andy? Where did he go? Did he go in the next apartment or something? He did. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given that all things turned out so well for the cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So, they're on really willing to do business as long as it's quick, easy for them. Take it, you want to ask one of us out of here. Take it, you want one of us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did, but I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what will we ask from him? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know yet that either. Nice. I just barely, barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer we he human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where do you get a soul whilst being stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. Well, I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure out something. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's in need? I'm not done reading this yet, but can you start replacing the candles for now? Done. What now? Now we are... Uh... Shit! Still alive and kicking, are you? You have been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. So, oh yeah, hi, hello. One of my guests isn't answering. The weird one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. So, fine. I'll check it after my round. The Walden footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No! Go before he notices we are not home. And keep him until I have mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below them. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Um, There's no mop here. I have to get the mop from my house. I guess so. I think this demo is long. And there's so much dialogue. Ashley, the warden is coming. Run away. Huh. Where are you going? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls his, over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment after which you and your brother's wicked deed are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. What? What am I supposed to do? Hide somewhere? We hide in a freezer. You hid in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations. Oh, anybody home? 
Oh great, another suicide. What the? You get in? How did you get in? Oh my god, she clapped him. Oh, he clapped him. <laughs> Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. I wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Oh no, she clapped him. Come on, Lele, let's go play. What? Shh, I thought I got caught here. You did. Happens to the best of us. So, um... Do we... Do we do this? What do we do? Go back to our apartment. Turn on TV. Go to sleep or something. Maybe we interact with the body. <laughs> yeah, maybe we perform the ritual, you know? Give the body to the demon. What am I supposed to do here? I don't know. Still locked though. Didn't you open it? That guy opened the door, no? We jump off. No. Sacrificial ritual. Where are Do we cook something? Like, I don't get it. Where are we going to play? He said let's go play. Maybe in the freezer. What are we playing, bro? That to be something good, right? Like, you cannot just... Maybe we just... I don't get it. I don't get it. This, 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 this. Phone, phone, call the police on yourself. I definitely had to do something in there. Like, for sure. Um... I... I Do we summon the demons? No. This guy did not have the... Oh! Okay, I did have to interact with him. You have actually killed a man, like, directly. Yup. I was a little surprised there. So, oh no, he did kill him. Where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for a little layoff. We'll see how you sleep after this one. Ashley, I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Alright. Look, look here. All right, we get out. The last, you unlock the door. Before we go, huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw. -up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am, but what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously, obviously. It's no doubt be obvious we did something. Once this guy shifts in, the next order comes and someone comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying... Well, you see, I'm not sure you are grasping the gravity of the situation here. Knowing you, you think you are going to find mom and dad. But well, I'm saying all of that is off the table. I didn't plan on anything yet. God, that's even worse. Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again because you think they'll switch on us to the authorities. Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. If you are going to be in this flippant about this flippant about this, this isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as an impervious to consequences. So you are going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. What the fuck? You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy is it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. What do you think you are talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? 
So I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you are taking this seriously. There's a half-dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. All good, can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally though. So Andy, what? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. None of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come flink food up or to our balcony. Whoa. Would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try, so my affection officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. It's alright, because Andy is here with me, even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry, I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. Alright, let's get the hell out of here already. Oh. This is a huge ass trailer. I mean demo. Before we go to exit, can we enter this? Oh, there's a key there. But the key to room 302, half it and cup noodles, can we eat that? Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. No, and no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important, stop asking. One more key. Looky looky, they have got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No. Looks like it's recording the second floor. Ah, uh, let me see. Great. There's another warden here. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have a gun? Let's shoot this guy. Nope. He only had a key to the cultist room and the walkie talkie. Ah. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep the curious people away and pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we supposed to... How are we getting around him? Don't ask me. There's a key there. Okay. One second, I need to know if his jacket had something. Oh, no, 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 no. Guess not. This is our house. This is all it took to keep us in, a wooden board. It's okay Andy, I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you are trying to comfort me but your words do the opposite. Ah, whatever, it's just the of paper. The paper slip taped on the door reads 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know, don't care. Let's just focus on getting out of here and block the door. Nice. The note reads 2XA1XB. The door on the 1O, but it's crossed over. That means he's dead, I guess. One A, but he's dead. Here do we have the key to this? Fridge is full of food. Oh, nice. Looks like someone gave up assembling their furniture. Hey, what's up, lady? Doodles and drawings. Hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want to get out? I get free food, can't play games all day. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley! Fuck you. Get out of here, both of you. Hey, did I give you permission to go in there? Can I try again? Yeah. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Yes, you are just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us though? 
probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warlord comes in and shoots us. Ah, uh, this is hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Mm, well, uh, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we have got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now, alright. You really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I? That shouldn't be even... <laughs> Maybe even didn't think it would be funny to screw you what while I'm lo loitering around the house. Yeah, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. We... What did... First door say? Oh, I can get them. We double check... Uh... But all you find is a walkie to use us. I don't know, but at least we're here if the other one tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at that point we are screwed anyways. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea actually. Two bolts with one shot. So he'll come in guns blazing. Alright. Let me think. While we are at it, it will ready the I'll ready the ritual for us. What do we need? I don't know, check the guidebook. With blood, I'm not sure that runs though. I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie talkie. And uh, how are you going to make her do that? You know how. Alright, then let's go convince her. And was there something else that still needs to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Just making sure, you know. You do again. Sorry, there's one last thing we forgot to ask you. Well, I thought I made myself clear. <laughs> what do you want? Hey, get off me! What's going to happen now is that you will go into this walking dock. What? Tell them that you and his friends are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand and... Oh, you only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it. We'll see. Hello, who's there? Hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is, uh, well, I'll be, uh, I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that world is really crooked. Um, yeah, nothing. I'll be right there. Switch checks. You cut the conversation there. All right, let's go. I let go of her now. And what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything. I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until dawn. What? Get going, the bass. Fine. Almost forgot. Catch. Boom. 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 Yes. Ah, something is here. Who are you? I can see. You are asking me my name, human. Um, what do you offer? Ah, uh, yikes. Did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? I'm not doing it with this kind of music. So let's, uh, shock the world and reaches for his guns. Ah, uh, him. I offer him. What the? Ah! He's dead. So, uh, well, how was it? Human with dark colored soul, I give you this. Unidentifiable. <coughs> Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to go watch the troubles ahead. Thank you. Gauge the troubles ahead. The entity has left. You are still alive, unlike either of the wardens. 
at that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name nor I asked for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in the demon's pocket. But no matter, the Walden is dead and if I have one Clorant dream, that'd be cool as hell. You decide not linger on the fact, your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Yes, you already knew that. Can I take his gun? Please. Time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'd probably shoot the lady though. She's different. What? Sadly, your plans of spattering the lady's brain on the wall have been thwarted. Her cops already rest on the bed. Uh, what happened to you? You tried to shoot me with an alien. <coughs> I thought you were holding her in place, so I let go. Why? You were talking was. Uh, I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver lesson learned. Interesting. That you'd want to take a chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Oh. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted in insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by a warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. It's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That Makes it fine then, good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Fucking every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celib celibate. What is it with you? That's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it does, cock brain. Now, it's definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priorities right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. <sighs> Blow it out of your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I No, shut up. I didn't screw the lady, neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not It's not like my girlfriend dubbed me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What she told you? What it told you? That told you. You are better off without loose lipping hoes like that. So it really was you. Well, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you just stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need me s <coughs> need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet your bloody love is in <laughs> Bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Ha, I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where did that come from? I Fuck, what a prime example just you, ha. Huh? You would know, you would exactly you know it. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your back and call just like it was. What? Back at your back and call just like it was back when? I don't know. What? You screw up, well, you Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I have never once made you do anything, and it's always I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, the you answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see. If you have listened a word I said, you'd know I... Wha why don't you wanna spend time with me anymore? I have done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then, aren't we friends anymore? Oh, of course, we are just... Holy shit, forget this. Can we just get... Go? Just what? Just go? No, answer me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off from this. Just say then, I'm going. <clears throat> oh no you don't what's so bad about me i have been looking out for you isn't that just stop talk to me it's not my fault i didn't lock us in here i didn't kill the cultists i didn't even kill the warden which one neither you did and the demon me i'm all innocent i have not harmed a single soul of course not you made me do it for you I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped that bastard up yourself and you chose to do everything you have done here. 
And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock her in that crate where the fucking cut choked. Ha <laughs> ha Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. So, uh, that just came out of your mouth. What? It's true. You chose to do it. You chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling. Fuck off a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. Ah! So I guess we are not leaving here together. You can't do it. You won't. You can't just... I'm the only one you can talk to when you can't sleep at night. You can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that when you are the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now with Andy. I'm ready to go. Go like dead. Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught with you. Can we go? I like to go too. But the thing is you are pissing me off so much right now. We go now and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, yeah, so I got nothing. i like to go with you very much. Though if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's, if it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Ah. <coughs> I don't give a shit about... I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's, as it's us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we are getting out of here. The first place. That's right, our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... But I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Lele. Like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die with Andy. So you, uh... And I can leave? Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you are so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm in the grave. <laughs> <coughs> Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. Maybe later. Let's just get out of here, Andrew. My throat is so dry right now from reading all those dialogues. Like, my brain cannot... Ah, look, an open window. Great job. Tempt me not to. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that? Damn it. Isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? What if we climb down the window using this carpet? Seriously, I pressed E like 50 times. I have been searching for this. And that's what it says. I pressed E on the carpet the first thing there was. I'm not sure how we're going to secure it though. Hold it. I'll listen. Oh yeah, I'll just jump off onto your arms. You're done. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, it won't. We have got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. Maybe the couch. Why not? Get the freaking nail gun. Nail it down. I put onto the wall. That doesn't look safe. There has to got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows down my descent. 
I mean, I guess. Uh, yeah, alright, you first. Though. Damn right, I go first. I'm a lady. You climb down very unladylike. So, what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip down and then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. And we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we are going to do, Ashley. First thing first, skipping down and the buffet. Let's go. A real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID and then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some run somewhere too. I... I don't think that's going to shut your mouth. It's all worked out. We'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't be the trolls. How can you laugh? It's nothing funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. Keep it together. I am. Let's just start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out there, off there too. And otherwise. I'm a hair away from a panic attack, thanks for asking. I didn't get you, get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Seven wanna know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of future in my sleep now, but who knows. Well, I hope you do. I would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep. So, uh, you can relax a bit. I'll keep my eyes. Sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave me now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Yeah, completely stuck. Get a bus and drive the hell out of there. End of episode 1. Wanna save or something? There is... Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, the story was kind of interesting, but like, holy shit, that was big for a demo. I'm gonna upload it all in a single friggin' file. But anyways, thanks for watching.